So Tommy, we've just finished the press conference. Uh, how do you think it went? Uh, it was different, it was different than I've done that used to, but yeah, I enjoyed it, it was good. Alright, um, so... You you were up there with the, um, I'd say Jag and Brett who have had a couple of fights because a lot of people are one and one and yeah. zero. Like uh, you've had three during one. Um, you haven't fought in a while. Do you think that's going to hamper um, the progression? Uh, not really. I've literally even though I've boxed in the world, never really been at the gym. Staying the whole time. I, 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 I still love the gym, staying at the gym. So. Oh, okay, um, and what 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 uh, kept you out for so long? Uh, I had a torn ACL. It was, it, I taught it in my fourth fight. That was um, that's not been out since then. Basically, I've had problems with the before getting my license. Really. Okay, is that all fit? That's all, all good. good. Yeah, been, uh, Right, uh, how have you been training for uh, like the, the free fight competition? Uh, just intensive, really. It's more, more intensive in terms of um, it's going to be fast paced. It's going to be quick. It's going to be constant pressure, constant fighting. So, but in terms of changing the routine, nothing. Change to keep the same routine. Get the so after this, you'll be what, three fights, so six, six, six with one draw. Yeah. Um, what will you be looking to do after that? Uh, definitely looking for belts, maybe Midlands. And Midlands, then, yeah. And then English and British, but I'll take the one for come one for it as well. Yeah, fair play, so yeah. Um, how do you think it's going to go, though? You think you've you got a good chance of winning? Personally, yeah. I think every single person will also have the same. You don't believe in yourself, who's going to do it. So. Is there any, anyone that caught your eye like before all? Oh. Not really, they're all a bit. So, he looks sit up there. He, 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 I've got a bit free on it, but it doesn't matter which one I've got to be, I've got to be free. So. Fair enough. Then. Is there anything you want to say to your followers and your fans or your sponsors? Um, just get up with Hopefully get to the my team and support me. Um, I appreciate everything. Thank you. Tommy Loach. Well done, man. Good luck. Cheers. Right. Uh, just had the press conference, right? Um, already talked to you about uh, what what you've done to uh, get ready for the free fight. Do you think you're ready? Yeah, of course. Uh, yeah. yeah. But, um, I feel like it's a big step up here, but I feel like I'm ready for it. Yeah, like it's, it's, it's worth it, man. It's worth, worth the challenge. Well, after this, say it all goes well, you'll be 7 and 0. 7 and 0, yeah. Right. Looking for what's the Midland title then? Wonderful. Well, not Midland start. I'll say challenge, but I'd rather be realistic about it. Take my time. Probably a challenge route, yeah. yeah. Go from the challenge route. To, to, you know, like, possibly doing that. But, but, yeah, 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 yeah. So, uh, well, there's a bit of needle between you and Brett there. Uh, <laughs> what was that all about? I don't know, you know, I don't know. I don't, I don't know if he took, um, took uh, a dislike to me or whatnot. Yeah. Probably because of my personality, or, or, or yeah, I mean, but if that's the case, yeah, that's just, I'm not gonna change myself because of it. Yeah, if he really wants to see me in the finals, yeah, if he makes it to the finals, yeah, I mean, but, uh, my, my ultimate goal is to win. Yeah. He don't play to win, you know. Play, you know what I, mean? I, I think, I think with with Bray, he's like you sort of probably got the best records out of a lot of them, and I think he's just looking at you yeah. as the biggest threat. Yeah, but, yeah. Um, yeah um, so you've been working. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, I've, I've literally, so these like I've been making the three training sessions with my head coach, and, and, and um, two strength conditioning sessions with Vinny, and two to three fitness sessions with Vinny, and then I'm sparring quite like, regularly. I'm sparring like four times a week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, what are you looking at, like straight three wins? Yeah. Uh, hopefully, yeah, seven, yeah, no. seven and all. That's that's the plan. That's the plan. But like I said, like I said this to everyone last year, the ultimate goal is, is to win. Yeah, I've got the mindset of winning. But I've said this to people before. Even if it doesn't go the way you planned it to go, it's a, it's still a big opportunity to get the players out. Great there. learning curve and, as well. And great learning curve. Yeah, like to go against you know yeah. prospects like this in you know, early. Early like early stages of career. Definitely. Anything you want to say to all your fans? Uh, to, to the fans that I've got here, just don't worry, I won't let you down. Yeah, we'll see how it goes. Yeah, but from there, 18th of February, Planet Ice. Yeah, you're seeing the top boxer champion. Yeah, we'll go from there. Thanks for having me, Jack.
So Brett, uh, just finished the press conference. Uh, how did you think it went for you? So Brett, the press conference is just finished. Uh, how did it go for you? Uh, it's been all right. I'm not the one for press conference and talking to the cameras or anything. Like it's not my strong point. Like, I like to do my talk. Yeah, you definitely do. Three and zero, oh, one duck okay. You know what I mean? After this, if it all goes well, you're six and zero. Oh, what will you be looking for after that? Nothing. Anything I get to look for. Well, I'd love to uh, go to Midlands. Midlands, yeah. Hopefully, end of the year. Hopefully, it can go as well. Yeah, no, that's fair enough. Look, six, yeah. seven, eight points, and you un undefeated. The Midlands is there for that, so look, a fair play to you. Yeah. There's a bit of a, well, actually, you that put the needle on the jack. And goes, what was that all about? No, it's not. Okay. Is it because like you've got similar records and you are probably the most, if I was going to say, the favoured ones because you've got the experience and you've got the wings behind you because there's a lot of one and o's, you're three and o's, Jack's four and o's. And I reckon to be fair, we've got put into the ring a bit of a fight. Okay. Well, we want to say it's for the final then, don't we? Hopefully we see each other back in the tournament. No, that's brilliant, mate. Um, so, have you got anything to say to uh, your fans and uh, anyone who's following you? Uh, to hopefully uh, you'll turn up on the night and show me the support. And, uh, yeah. So Dylan, we just had the press conference. You're on the undercard for the uh, big boys boy uh three and up. Um how do you think it went for the press conference? Yeah listen it went good uh, first off for Tommy Owen so you know everyone's a little bit nervous, everyone's a bit shy but it went really well and I think everyone's now coming out of the shell a bit and you're starting to see the true characters and some people and I'm, I think uh, February 18th is going to be a great night so don't miss it. Yeah, no, no I'm, I'm looking forward to it Roy. Right? Uh, I've never watched you box Roy right? but I've heard good things you know what I mean you've got a great training well Wayne Elcott. Um, what are you expecting on at, at the show? It'll be the fourth fight. Uh, just improvement. Always, always improving. Um, obviously, Wayne Alcox, my trainer, and obviously everything he's achieved, uh, achieved. You know, you can't help but try and follow in them footsteps, and that's all Wayne does. He educates me on absolutely everything, and uh, you know, no matter what I do, there's always a way to make it better and do it better. And uh, Wayne's definitely taught me a lot about the uh, art of boxing. And uh, February. 18th, uh, we're going to see improvement and uh, good value for money. So, they, they said in a press conference that this was an ongoing thing, it'll be at different weights, or what no, way? That, that wasn't me, that was for no, uh, no, I mean, it'll be at different weights, oh, yeah. the, the, the actual boys fight. Would you like to... Uh, Listen, uh, definitely. Look, if Tommy Owen speaks to me, look, say, look, we got one, we got one at uh, lightweight. Um, I'm sure I'll be happy to jump on board. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I feel like the way I fight and the way I'm improving, it'll shy, shy of a lot of fighters away from me. Yeah, no, um, that's fair enough. But then again, you might be way beyond this point. Then. Yeah, maybe. Who knows? I look, I, I, I've got to appreciate. I'd like to thank uh, to obviously Tommy Owens for putting me on his shows. He's been really looking after us and John Peg as well. Uh, yeah, I'm just excited for the <coughs> Is there anything you want to say to your friends? Yeah, I uh, want to say thank you for your support, keep supporting, and uh, I promise you I won't let you down. Cheers, thank you. Thank you. Dylan. So Danny, we've uh, just had the press conference, Roy. Um, probably all new to you, you can only want to know. Uh, how do you think it went? Yeah, I thought it went really well, to be fair. I thought spoke confident, made it clear what I think about the tournament and how it's going. I said before I thought I was going to go in my favour, but I'm ready for it really. Yeah, well, you've got to look at it. It's like you're 1 0 at the moment, right? After the 18, you could be 4 0 yeah, and have a nice bit of coin in your pocket that's as it. well. That's it. For the real, the money don't matter, you're going to fight for the money. So I fought for years as an amateur, I never got paid for it, so it's no different. Just, I'm just working towards a dream, like all the fighters are really. I want to be a world champion. This is the first stepping stone, obviously. Many more stepping stones to come, but very good. So, how's training went for you? Uh, and did you change anything for the, uh, the, the three point competition? Yeah, obviously, training is hard, a lot harder than. Um, we have changed, obviously, we're doing nine rounds now for four rounds, obviously. 
we know what we've got to do. We've got to work in three threes at fast pace, at use some fast pace again. Just go at it from there. So. That's brilliant. Is there anything you want to say to your, uh, your fans and your followers? Yeah, just look forward to seeing you all February 18th. We all know what's coming. Uh, see you there, 4 and 0. Yeah. Oh, well, Mark, so thank you. Right, Niall, just to uh, finish the press conference, uh, you were quite vocal in what you want to do. Um, how do you think your fight's going to go on that night? So, my KO as well. I've got, to, I've got to go for the KO. So, what I want, but I won't force it, but KO. Yeah, so I've, I've had the privilege of watching you box a few times and you are very stylish and you've got power as well which like, sometimes when, when people have got style they don't have the power and you seem to have the whole lot, right? Um, where, where do you see yourself? Apparently this will be, will be 6 and 0 after this one, yeah? yeah. If you win. Yeah. Right. If you're 6 and 0, what will you be looking for? Midlands? Midlands after this one, I want the Midlands. Oh, okay. And, and uh, in the press conference, yeah. you, 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 you asked for the uh, champion to uh, Well, I was mandated because James Beach had the featherweight midlands, but uh, he vacated so we could fight Raza Hamza, which yeah. he won. So, fair play, I don't, that's, that's fine because now he can fight for the British or Commonwealth. So, that's fair enough. So, whoever, whoever wants to fight for the midlands, I'll fight. For the middle at featherweight though, that's what I want to do featherweight. I've asked, I've asked a certain someone, I don't want to talk too much, yeah. someone who I want to fight. They said they want a six rounder first, so I'll let them do their thing and then I want to fight for the Midlands by mid this year. Fair play to you. Do you know what, Jay's Beach, I, I will tell you, Jay's Beach is one of my favourite boxers and, I, and that would be a good point. Yeah, yeah, no, it would. But that's that. Or, or, in my opinion, I think that's a big, big shout out for you that you yeah. you think you can take on someone yeah. of his calibre. Yeah. Because that is a. It was a brilliant amateur as well. No, yeah, I, I do. I do rate him, and I'm not stupid. Like, I'm not gonna say, oh yeah, that would be easy. Like, that would be a hard. That would be a hard. Yeah, good fight. point. I, I wouldn't mind doing that in the future. The only reason that I would have took that is because he had. What I want, that's why. But I'm not stupid, that would be a difficult fight. That probably is a big jump in this stage of my career, but I don't mind having a fight like that. Uh, would you like to say that in the future? Yeah, say no, you want definitely, to def like yeah definitely, definitely, because I know that would be a good fight. That would be a good, fight. Be a good fight. Right. Is there anything you want to say to uh, your fans and your followers? Uh, thank you to my sponsors, Seedale Groundworks, IND Block Paving, Egyptian Collections. Thank you to my fans, anyone who buys tickets, anyone who supports me. Thank you to everyone. Everyone, oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. bless man, bless. Right. Anthony. Oh, everyone, this is Anthony Hall from DNA Boxing. Um, Jack's coach, um, how do you think uh, the press conference went for him? Uh, Jack's a confident lad anyway, um, you know, most of the difference was he talked to people every day in the gym, so to talk on camera or not on camera, right I mean, I feel like a lot of the lads could have been a bit more enthusiastic in the because Tommy's doing the right thing, and obviously, I don't know after every single fight now, because Jack's the only person in the gym who's talking about this early, so yeah. I noticed right now, this after four fights, I'm still looking for a challenge by for eight rounds. But I said to Jack, take it up to himself because basically, he took a risk so early, you're not going out, I want to fight loads of journey now. He's had four fights in one year, then obviously, he's sort of fallen out of the wind to pass seven. So I don't know what's wrong with And obviously, he's had to be the thing, but you know, he's real mystic, he's not saying to win the title straight away. He wants to go challenge by four, it's just eight rounds to build him up. And he's patient, and he's confident, but I do think he's style as well. He's not that good, but he's, he's there, he's getting, he's, he's getting there. Man. I need to come down to the DNA and show him a few things, but like, no, do you know what, you know I was, I was there from the start, I've seen it, I've seen it, and I goes, I like it, I like the way he boxes. And the thing is, no, you, you notice some things obviously about the left open, obviously. Sometimes when you have fought with a fight all the time, because you're out, sometimes you get a bit, not, not today, but you don't really want to tell him his faults as well. But you know, I'm a good big fan of Pitts. When you said that to me, like, listen, he could get caught with that left or defend it. As soon as we were actually doing it, I'm like, so Dexter saw that. Let's work on it, let's show Dexter. Have we got it? Have we done it? Yeah, no, you did, you did. So, um, so, can you see, well, did you, it, 
His uh, personality did uh, eke over with like Brett. Because uh, Brett, Brett, oh, I asked Brett, I go, what? Because I've done an interview with Brett, and Brett, Brett goes, uh, he goes, it's just him. So I think it's, it's that, so, so, that so, fuckiness. So, I know, I know Brett told me to go around and what's his name. I didn't even know there was actually an issue between those two anyway. But I just said to Brett a minute ago, if I was used to, I'd use it to advantage. Build it your social media team, obviously, it's all in there. It's all boxing, but it's what these guys need. They need a bit of. No, it's fan source on the table because if everyone's just goes in there, you're not going to build your social media. Yeah, true. Team. So if, if I was Jag and I was Brit, I'd be having a chat and say, listen, let's get it up there. Yeah, no, do, do you know what? And in, in my opinion, the, the both, the, the two that stand out at the moment, I don't know much about the other ones, but the, them two are both unbeaten and they've both had a couple of fights rather than one or two, you know what I mean? The, 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 uh, Jag's had four. Brett's had three, you know what I mean? I know, I know, I know, I know, the experience is there with them. Yeah, I know some of the lads are saying that uh, Jags are a bit small, and I was talking to Wealth from Wednesday, it's a white category, and number two, it's so hard to defend, so obviously, if you're saying it's small, there's another guy there that's smaller than Jags, stuck in the small, but, you know, it's, it's a stone from the clash, and who wants it on the night, it's going to win, so. Yeah, well, you know what, I'll be rooting for all of our, I want any of the Birmingham boxers to uh, do well, uh, as, as always, but, no, I do like I do like the way Jag fights and that, and uh, we've got affiliation. I am going to come to the gym soon. Yeah, you know it's been I mean? like a few years. Yeah, yeah, it's well, been a few years. Well, like I said, for all the lads on there, they took a chance early, and it's always been paying themselves back. Yeah, definitely, yeah, definitely, so. definitely. And no, thanks Last for talking, mate. Right, so Tommy, the press conference has just finished. Uh, how did you think it went with the boxers? I thought it went well. I mean, like every, every, everyone come across fought well. I mean, you know, Brett called, like, called out Jags, didn't they, yeah. and stuff. You know what I mean? It was, it was good. So, kind of, kind of made, made, made a few good points and stuff. No. Um, I think. But they're all in it at the end yeah. of the day. Do you know what I mean? I will say, right, when 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 I seen it, right, advertising that, I was like, yeah, yeah. you've got something there because none of them like even with the old prize fighters where you'd have like um Audrey Harrison in there with a couple yeah. of Yeah. It was an obvious winner. There was no obvious winner. No, 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 no. You see, and this is how we've kept it was a, the criteria was no more than ten fights. No former amateur champions and no current or former am, uh, professional champions. So it's, it's kept it a complete level playing field. Yeah. It is a genuinely 50 50 tournament. And everyone's going into it thinking they're going to win. And that's how you want it. And the thing is, like, we talked to a couple of the boxers and they said oh, the money's not, not an issue. But this is a purse, if they win it, that's going to be a lot more than they get on like, just selling tickets. Of course, you know what I mean? I mean you know, we've, we've kept it. I mean, look, you go out in the quarterfinals, you go out in the quarterfinals, you, yes. you go out in the semis, you get to. Finals, eight and four. Eight to the winner, four to the runner up. So it's, you know, it, it's, it's not massive money, it's not TV money, but there's money there, and it's a decent, it's, it's decent enough to, look, if anyone's in it for the money, they probably shouldn't be in it. Yeah. It's fine. If you're a professional boxer and all you're in it for the money, it's in your heart. <laughs> like I said, like I said in, the, in the press conference, any, any boxer who's got anything to buy them want to be a world champion. Yeah. And that's the reason why they're in it, because they want to get as far as they want to go. The money is second, do you know what I mean? But, you know, pushing your career and, and getting to where you want to be, that's the main focus. Well, that's the thing, is like it's, it's three wins in one night. After that, you are like, and a lot of these boxers will be, after three wins, like Jag Brett especially, yep. will be at that midland's well, cost one. Right? Exactly, I mean, look, if Jag wins, he's going to be seven and a half. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? If Brett wins, he's going to be six and a half. Do you know what I mean? So it's, it's you know, it's it's pushing you and it's 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 pushing your career then straight away in an instant. As soon as you win, boom, your career's gone to another level because you've beat three fighters in one night. And it, you're not just fighting three journeymen in one night, you're fighting three beaten fighters in one night, you all want to win. So you know, it's, 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 it's there as it's a massive platform for everyone, especially at, at, at this level with no TV backing. Do you know what I mean? It's a grassroots <laughs> promotion, it's a small old promotion, and we're trying to take it to another level to push the lads' careers as far as it can go. 
Yeah, well, and hopefully we, we go with them with that journey. Well, the thing is, it's a great way to start off 2023. Um, what has Tommy Holmes' promotion has got in line for us for 2003? Well, we've got four shows booked at Planet Horse. So the first show at Planet Horse, which is the first show of the year, that's your top box competition. And we've got we've got um, two other dates in between, um, which we're gonna basically we're gonna we're gonna make them the best shows. You know what I mean? This this venue here, Planet Horse, is the, it is a good venue. Do you know well, what I mean? I, I, and well, very, I didn't come last last year no. because of stuff, but yeah. I will be there. And then, yeah, and the you do. I mean, look, we, we took we took the shows from the. I mean, when we were at the villa, we did shows, we did shows, and it was we, we took them to another level that we could at the villa. You know what I mean? You were kind of restricted at the villa, and I big we go. Yeah. But here, there's, there's there's no restrictions. Do you know what I mean? There's no limits to how big we can take it. The place holds two thousand people. Do you know what I mean? So. You know, we get the lads into into total contentions and stuff. Possibly get a you could put British on your visa. No problem. Yeah. Do you well, they did at Warsaw Town all. You know what I mean? European. Yeah. Well, why not? Yeah. Why not? Why not do it at Planet Oz in Sully Hall in Birmingham? Let's let's do it. Uh, Tom, always loved your shows, and I'm looking forward to this one. So, so it's always a pleasure, mate. Thank you.